morning and a very, very happy Easter to each and every one of you. Normally we would be gathered at this time, surrounded by several hundred of us, all in our church at Stoke by Naylan for our wonderful Easter celebration. This year, that's not possible. But that doesn't stop us celebrating as an Easter people to celebrate Christ's resurrection and our freedom from death. As we begin our service this morning, you may wish to have a candle available to light with me as we recognise and remember that Jesus is the light that came into the world. So let's take a moment of silence to still our hearts and minds and to remind each and every one of us that we are and continue to be surrounded by God's love. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God as we hear his word and proclaim all that God has done. We can be confident that we share his victory over death and live with him forever. If you have one, you may like to take this moment just to light your candle with me. We say together, may the light of Christ rising in glory banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. say together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks 
we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Collect for Easter Day. Let us pray. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, Anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him, and we are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses. And who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have led, laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in, and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. And he saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet, they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been laying, one at the head and the other at the feet. 
They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. And Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that all that he had said these things to her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him forever. Say together, blessing and honour and glory and power be to Him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb for ever and ever. Amen. Great and marvellous are your works, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of saints. All glorious your gifts, spirit of life, blessing and honour and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endures for ever. He has loved us from all eternity and his mercy endures forever, and remembers us when we were in trouble, and his mercy endures forever. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and his mercy endures forever. He came incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man, and his mercy endures forever. By his cross and passion, he had redeemed the world, and his mercy endures forever. He has washed us from our sins in his own blood, and his mercy endures forever. On the third day he raised, rose again, and his mercy endures forever. And he has given us the victory, and his mercy endures forever. He ascended into heaven, and his mercy endures for ever, and opened wide for us the everlasting doors, and his mercy endures for ever. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and his mercy endures for ever, and ever lives to make intercession for us, and his mercy endures for ever. Blessing and honour and thanksgiving and praise, more than we can utter, more than we can conceive, be to you, O most adorable Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, by all angels, all people and all creation, for ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. So now we come a time of prayer. We begin it with a time of silence. Remember all those who we know, who we love and whom we care for and are in need of prayer at this time.
also as disciples who know that Christ is risen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. That our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may provide for those who lack food, work, health care or shelter. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That by his power, War and famine may cease throughout all the world. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak and the dying. To comfort and strengthen them. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people. So that we may be fruitful and faithful witnesses to his resurrection. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. We pray in the name of Christ, who conquered death, that we might live forever. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. Alleluia. The Lord of life. With unbounded joy we offer you our sacrifice of praise. And as we are fed by the bread of heaven, may we know your resurrection power. Through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy always and everywhere, to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And on this day of our redemption, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful work. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gates of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and all the powers of creation Sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God and power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so we praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and the blood of your dear Son, who on the night before he died had supper with his friends, and taking bread he praised you. He broke it and he gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this remembrance of me.
when supper was ended. He took the cup of wine, and again he praised you and gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Father, we remember all that Jesus did, and in him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. And for bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people and gather us into your loving arms and bring us with St Mary, St Matthew, St James and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And so rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus says, I am the bread of life, and whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. on behalf of all of you, all of us everywhere who cannot worship together physically, I celebrate this communion and receive on your behalf. So let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to death on the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen say together, Father of all, 
we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we sing our final hymn together. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. final blessing. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you, and remain with you and all those whom you love and care for this day and always. Amen. And so, with the risen life of Christ within you, stay at home to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.